Greetings, loved ones. No idea if this is gonna stay on the entire time. So I ran a poll on my community tab and everyone voted for Kira Kira as the next Pretty Cure season for the styling videos, which is really exciting. I thought that Star Twinkle was gonna win. It's actually a good thing that it didn't because it gives me time to actually watch the season. <laughs> for now, it's gonna be Kira Kira. When I first got back into Pretty Cure, Kira Kira was one of those seasons that had like mixed opinions on the internet and I didn't know whether or not to watch it and I kind of was putting it off but then I heard Shubi Yubi Sweets Time and I was like a season with an ending this good can't be all that bad. I watched it and enjoyed it a lot. I really thought it was fun. I actually didn't really mind that the fights weren't that physical. I was like okay it's fine for me. I thought that it was really fun, really colorful. Some words that I would use to describe Kira Kira would be whimsical, campy, and kind of kitschy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The characters all had these very unique traits about them, which was really fun as far as their designs go. Very unique to their own style. With sweets being the theme and them all having different outfits based on that for their cure forms, it wasn't always present in their civilian form, but Ichika was someone who had strawberry theming all over her outfits. Kimari was someone who was very shy and reserved due to events that happened in her childhood. Her style was definitely on the more modest side, but also on the very, very cute side. Aoi is our rock girl. She wore different jackets and skirts and was definitely a very blue cure. One of the most blue of the blue cures for real. Then we had Yukira, who was more refined and regal, and Akira, who wore more mask outfits, which was very fun. And we don't have it here, but there's also CL. I feel like it just gets darker and darker. Ichika wore a lot of strawberry themed things on her outfits. She had like strawberry socks. She had strawberry hair clips and hair ties. Because she's into baking and into cooking and sweets, it was very fitting for her outfit to have a lot of sweet themed things, especially strawberry. Even on this outfit, like there's the boots here with strawberry lining. <laughs> it's just so cute. A-line type dress and just very hot pink, very magenta. I think she's a very underrated pink cure. I actually really enjoyed her character a lot. Himari's outfits are kind of reserved and cute and she wears long dresses, very nice style. I think that one word that I would use to describe her style is, or even like just her character is just tiny, very cute. Aoi is the rock girl, the singer. She wore more adventurous outfits and leather jackets, mini skirts. So she has a more eclectic style, style that would look good on a stage. Yukari wore things that were like regal and feminine and fancy, very stylish because of her upbringing and because of her status. It's very, it's just very her, suits her with those tall knee length boots. This outfit here, the sweater dress. Come on. Akira wore more masculine things. She wore a lot of jeans, a lot of belts. She kind of wore a lot of like button up shirts. I also like this outfit here with the vest and the jeans and sneakers. It's kind of an example of more recreational outfits that she would wear. She was a very cool character, very unique character to Pretty Cure especially, which was really fun. Ciel is our mid-season cure. She was a fairy or is a fairy and transformed into a human. She wears things that are kind of in that fairy vein. Like she kind of reminds me of Giselle from Enchanted because she kind of wears things that are fairy-like and unconventional. That really matches with her style and her personality and her being this renowned patissier. Patissier uniforms that were really cute. If you can hear rain, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is raining so hard right now. So Ichika, as someone who has a lot of strawberry notes on her outfits I chose things that were in that vein also very girly and frilly because that was a type of style that she seemed to wear a lot of I like this kind of purse here of course strawberry this gingham pattern top is really cute and I think would really suit her as well as a type of skirt like this an a-line skirt another example of the gingham pattern again we have this frill trim and these spaghetti straps with the ties it would just look very very cute you could match this with the same type of strawberry purse that was in 
the last picture. This dress was an example of one an A-line dress and also its color is very similar to the color of the dress that she wears in her civilian form. Puffed shoulder sleeves would also be cute with these boots. I chose this strawberry dress as well without going too over the top because I don't think that Ichika's clothing is really out there and really campy. I think that she wears things that are kind of trendy but if we're gonna lean into that I think that this type of dress is really cute for her especially the trim on the bottom and these shoes and this the sweater strawberries all over honestly she's the only character in this season that wears civilian outfits that are really themed to her pastry or like food item Ichika wears strawberry socks so something like this would be really cute with the leaves on the top and the seeds all over I chose this type of dress as well these aren't strawberries I think these are hearts I can't or I can't even really tell but pattern all over an a-line I think she would even wear the choker that's in this outfit just things that are really girly I think Matt with her and you know it you know I had to include the strawberry dress not necessarily the whole cut of the strawberry dress as far as it being ankle length but we'll let it pass why wouldn't I include the strawberry dress for Ichika or Himari Himari wears the long dresses she kind of wears a-line dresses as well but they're just longer in length this type of dress is very cute with the ducks here I think it's interesting that Himari's color scheme is yellow but she has secondary colors her secondary colors and her civilian outfits are green and orange so wearing a dress with a shirt underneath that's orange of this nature would be really cute for her I also think that this is very nice again I said that she dresses in tiny I think that this type of style is suited for her with the sheer kind of like tulle trim on the end this yellow color it could just be so cute moving away from dresses if you wanted her to wear something that's a bit more dressed down I think that this is cute I like that the vest is green because green seems to be her secondary color at least in her civilian form I like that this is a button-down shirt here with a frill trim on the sleeves this frilly skirt as well very very cute this was called a flower bud dress I like that it has this mustard yellow color because that's really the Himati color lots of frill trim lots of buttons anything that's very very cute and kempt and again moving outside of long dresses I think this is also something that would suit her the oversized shirt look something that really makes her look tiny I'm telling you it's all about the tiny with Himari she's just very cute very cute character she's actually my favorite character of Kira Kira Aoi Aoi is our rock girl our rock chick here I chose this patent leather skirt for her a nice blue color with a lot of zippers coming down to kind of pronounce the look that we're going for she honestly wears a surprising amount of skirts in her civilian form outfits she tends to wear a lot of mini skirts so I chose this type of skirt for her this could be worn on stage or it could be worn casually going along with the mini skirt thing I chose this as well for its denim she would wear a lot of denim because it's just simply blue and easy to wear I think that I would make the jacket a bit more a bit bigger a bit like looser but this is a good look anyway I think that this look suits the Aoi rock inspiration this put together outfit I think that she would wear a lot of accessories such as these chains and rings and earrings and such I like that the sleeves here are like checkered this whole look kind of feels like it's a bit edgier she comes from an upbringing where she's wearing princess dresses and very formal and regal things but this is the type of look that she wants to wear on the day-to-day -day. as far as like leather jackets goes I think this one's really cool blue color I also like the denim here in this look if we're moving away from the skirts I think she would wear something like this and it's a very blue outfit and I think <laughs> Aoi is such a blue blue cure her name the outfits she wears her cure form she, like everything about her is extremely blue it's almost as if she's blue dabba dee dabba die I think that she would wear these oversized crew necks or hoodies these rubber blue boots on the bottom here that's very her just a casual dress down outfit like this suits one her personality and two just the kind of comfortable look that I think that she would be into Yukari Yukari is a very interesting character I really enjoyed her 
arcs and her stories within the show the way that she dresses is very regal is very reformed is very mature she would wear like long overcoats such as this having a very rich vibe with these sunglasses and like the animal print bag <laughs> come on like listen even these shoes are something that i would see her wearing again with the overcoat here having faux fur trim here would be really fun i like that it's like patent leather point toe shoes as well she also likes to wear sun hats so she would definitely wear something like this where it's like she's going for a walk in the park a floral flowy dress such as this nice shoes and a nice bag i'm just loving it i also think that she would wear kind of like tweed outfits and tweed dresses kind of like clueless ish you know this type of pattern and fabric also the headband yeah i'm thinking about clueless when i think of yukari so this is definitely a look for her she would have a purple bag though let's be real this is something that i also imagine yukari wearing crop sweater this nice purple color cashmere ish type of material shoulder bag like that also something that's cute something that's fun for the summer <laughs> but i definitely like these kind of like rich important vibes they fit the vibe that Yukari gives Akira. Akira is one of the more masculine showing characters in Pretty Cure and she was very interesting and very fun. I do wish that she got more story in the show itself. Nonetheless, she had her own style and her own way of presenting herself. Akira wore a lot of button down shirts in her outfits, but I like the idea of her wearing that style where it's like button down really low. The person wearing it just looks really really cool the silk kind of material the high-waisted pants and the belt with the low hanging necklace <gasps> oh my god it just gets better it just gets better outfits like this she wore a vest in one of the civilian form outfits i like this for the khaki pants looking just very out on the town very unbothered you know i also thought it was interesting how in the show she wore kind of like western inspired outfits they were sort of cowboyish almost <laughs> we have that button down open shirt here and the vest. I also like these jeans because Akira wears a lot of jeans in her civilian form outfits. The low hanging necklace again. Like you know what we're going for. She seems to wear like browns so that's why a lot of the pictures that I'm showing have a lot of brown colors. Kind of more subdued reds is what Akira wears. I like this one for having that sort of brownish red color. The button down shirt again. The jeans. Just very like subdued and masculine and cool type of fashion going on here again you know what we're going for she would look so cool wearing these types of clothing especially with like these patterns here keeping it interesting khaki pants brown belt different rings chill very cool laid back type fashion it's very nice no because are you seeing it the girls that get it get it no because stop Oh my god, it's too good. It's too good. Now we have Ciel. As a fairy turned cure, I think that a lot of the outfits that she wears in the season are kind of fairy-like. She is not far from her roots as far as the types of outfits that she wears. She doesn't really get into that type of like trendy look or anything. She seems to wear these dresses that are almost out of place. Like you can tell that she's a fairy. So I like the idea of her wearing those types of dresses. I like this one for being a baby baby doll type dress the color of it because CL is like a green slash rainbow cure and like I said she does remind me of Giselle from Enchanted kind of unaware that she's out of place in this universe that she's in but it doesn't really matter to her like she just wears what she wants she's a renowned petissier and she can wear the fairy dresses if she wants to like this another day at the office I like that this one is kind of green and rainbow like the main color of it is green green but it's kind of giving these different shades all over because she's a celebrity she dresses very nicely tries to be presentable this as well puff sleeves and that baby doll cut same deal with the rainbow coloring but also being more on the green side i think that's very suited for her like this is just really reminding me of her civilian form outfit i also chose this because it's a bit princess like i like the white color i like the fit and it kind of reminds me of 
fashion in European countries. Because CL spent a lot of time in France, she would be influenced by the type of fashion that she saw on her day-to-day -day life. This type of fashion where it's like a cropped shirt and a long maxi skirt, the green color of course, but yeah, I think that she would definitely wear the types of trendy outfits that young women wear in European countries such as France and like Italy. So cool and fun for her. Career transformations. Of course, this is a sweets themed season. To match with that, each character has their own representative sweets. They also have their own representative animal. I was nervous about this because I was like, well, God, how am I gonna find outfits that match the type of thing that we're going for with Kira Kira? We have the shortcake, we have the parfait, ice cream and custard and macarons and chocolate. Oh my God, so <laughs> it's such a unique season. Gelato has ice cream swirls on the skirt of her dress. Whip has strawberry slices ever so slightly and parfait has a parfait on her hat. It's like, oh my God, there's so much going on. Cure custard and cure macaron with her dress being similar to what the side of a macaron looks like. Cure chocolat with chocolate dripping right there. It was very challenging at first until I saw Katy Perry's Teenage Dream Era outfits and it was like, the light bulb went off. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is exactly what we're going for. The types of skirts that would suit their outfits would have a lot of tulle, such as this on the bottom that would make them very puffy because that seems to be the thing or like one of the trends that is within their outfits, except for chocolate. Something like this as well, ice cream on the front, different colors here, kind of like parfaits outfit. Katy Perry's Teenage Dream era was one of a kind, even back then, if you made outfits such as these for Kira Kira, I wouldn't mind it because it's just, it's a very campy season and doesn't take itself too seriously. Another Katy Perry, cupcakes all along the skirt of her dress. It kind of speaks for itself, you know? Type of example of the poofy skirt that I'm thinking of, kind of like cotton candy here. This is also something that you would see. It's almost like theme park characters. Strawberry slices here on the skirt, very similar to Cure Whip. The hat here also, I don't know if that's a macaron or or not but it looks like it the kind of like melting icing here i liked this for being kind of innovative the sheer fabric bunched up together and then using cherries to put on top now obviously not this style for the kira kira girls but just like the type of design that i'm thinking of that would be somewhere on the outfit especially for a cure custard because cure custard seems to have a lot of cherries they seem to be on a lot of her outfits cure chocolate has her own type of outfit the best transformation in this season. Fight me. That transformation had my jaw dropped when I first saw it. The vibe of her outfit is kind of like almost marching bandish, almost like soldier nutcracker-ish. So I chose this type of outfit here, those types of vibes, as well as the long skirt to make it more extravagant. I also liked this, not for like the dress of its own, but I like the idea that is presented here with the melting ice cream. The way that this is made is really cool with the fabric kind of like layering on top of themselves. Really cool, really innovative. And for makeup looks, I think because they already have big animal ears that are very prominent in their outfits, I think that the makeup should go for something that's more to do with their sweets rather than like animal whiskers or anything like that. So I chose things like this for like Ichika with strawberries patterned all over this as well because it reminds me of like rabbit whiskers except it's strawberries with like the strawberry seeds kind of on the cheeks. This kind of makeup thinking of Cure Chocolat, of course the melting motif, this dark brown shadow, and then for Cure Parfait, for her being a green slash rainbow cure, the rainbow gradient around the eye would be very very cute. Now for the animal motifs, I chose things that were kind of reminiscent of real animals, but I'm also debating whether or not it would look better to use CG. Like if this is a live action, would you use CGI for the animal? animal tail for the animal ears to make them move and whatnot or would you use like an actual prop so that's a question that I was thinking of nevertheless I chose a couple of like animal ears to give an idea of something that looks at least natural and not too costumey and not too realistic because I think that could also be weird so something like this would be cute something like this for Cure Macaron having bows and things like that to make it look more interesting give me your opinion would you prefer if it were a prop or if it were like 
like CG animation for the animal ears and tail. But yeah, that was the Kita Kita Girls. Very fun season that I enjoyed a lot. A lot of people were requesting this season, so I'm glad that I was able to do it. I hope that it lived up to your expectations. Again, I do have a Pinterest board for this season that I'm gonna leave the link in the description to. I didn't include him, but I collected a couple of pictures of Picario, Theo from Kira Kira. So those pictures are on the Pinterest board if you want to see what I was kind of thinking up. I just didn't include him for like time constraints. The next styling video will probably be Star Twinkle because it came in second in the poll on my community tab. I will have to finish watching that. I think that doing these videos kind of gives me an incentive to finish some of these seasons. This was really fun. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. That is all I have for today. Bye. It's just been raining this entire video. Oh,